Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Now let's start. First let's shuffle the deck four times. <clears throat> I will start with what happened in the past, what were the challenges and the problems, so you better know if this is your reading. So let's see. One partner was putting much focus mostly in the work and career, and it was causing as a relationship in general many headaches, uh, being very anxious, stressed out in that connection. The second story I'm getting is that someone here, one partner at least, was not putting much effort into the connection, was taking it easy, not willing to work hard through the challenges. Now let's see about your current energies. Okay, it may have been a marriage, or it had potential to be something like that. But you still keep thinking about them. You still are connected to them energetically. And the connection may have been toxic, you know it. But you still keep thinking about it. Uh, thinking about the possibility of repairing maybe. Or saving the connection. And moving it to the next important step. Or saving the marriage. So take what resonates. Now let's see what may be affecting you in your subconscious. That. Despite you thinking a lot about them, feeling attracted to them a lot, you know there's a big disconnection there. It, it feels like it is not working anymore. It, is, it does not feel as a whole. Let's see what is the overall energy. What is the overall energy? Page of Pentacles. Some communication is coming your way and it will be coming first in a friendly way, like a hello. Now let's see why the Page of Pentacles. Yes, it is coming from this past person that was not putting much effort into the connection. Now let's see more details about how do you view the situation with them. You are waiting. You think there will be some progress, but not immediately. For some of you, it may have been a long distance relationship. Now let's see more details. So for some of you, it was a long distance relationship, or you are just waiting there and hoping that things will change. Now, what about your hope? Hopes, fears, what you want to avoid. So. I think that you want to find partnership again, but you don't see it there. You may even be thinking that the friendship may have been lost, or maybe you don't understand each other anymore. And you fear that this person does not want to commit, or they are not a very stable, mature person in love. Now let's see about them. Okay, let's take all those cards. At the bottom we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. It may have been a third party situation for some of you. Now what about them? They are trying so hard to move away, give up. They are doing nothing. They just keep their feelings to themselves. They are focusing on their business, their money, their career. They think it is over. Now let's see, will they take actions? Four of Wands, Three of Swords in the reverse, and the King of Cups. Okay, one day they want to come towards you and have a reunion, a happy reunion with you. But they want to do this when the healing has been done. When both of your hearts are healed from what happened in the past. For now, they are just uh, moving. They keep moving away. They just continue moving away, but with the hope that one day, after uh, the wounds have been healed, uh, they will express some feelings and emotions. 
Now let's see more details. I want to continue this reading with more details in the extended. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.